drew a couple of poems about my own personal history, my family's history. Uh, Patrick's were important. Get the history of his, his grandparent. Get the history of the library for eventually when there aren't any libraries left, right? <laughs> you know, tell us how important it was. Well, I think the library does adapt. They'll, probably, they'll keep going. But. All right. So this next poem is about my own personal history. Uh, it's no more important than your history because both are important. This was also published in the Academy of Hearts and Minds. Rain on the roof. Rain falls on the tin roof, dripping it off into the rivulet of seasons past. We made a go-kart out of a stanchion, cow stanchion. The unused chicken coop became our clubhouse. We climbed the rungs of the grain grinder sunk into the ground to stand on the bin, our ship's crow's nest. We slipped into the granary and opened to shoot. The dusty kernels enveloped us. Grain fell like sand in an hourglass, like the days of the week do now. The dogs slept under the pine. The cats crept through the barn. We played shadow tag under the dust to dawn light. The tractor with the dead battery sits on the hill in my heart. Roll it down, pop the clutch. Many one chances catch, an engine comes to life. We pretend drove the junked Ford. We grew up to beat the farm truck. Eventually stones fly. Gravel shatters what you have, but not what you had. It just takes too many years to realize it. And speaking of histories, uh, last year, actually, my dad has been telling more and more stories, things about the past. And um, he showed me a letter that his, his, his grandma wrote about to him about when he was born in 1940 in their farmhouse. My grandma grew up to be um, 100 years old. And so it's kind of, a, I took that, and it's a found poem, and I turned it into this poem. Uh, so we call it a found poem. Uh, I think it's important to culture that my dad was born at home, and uh, maybe it's important to culture in general. In the past, stories were written down, and I think that's sort of falling away, but poetry is a way to continue telling our history in a powerful way. And for me personally, this is a way to think about my grandma kind of remember and it shows her voice which was very reserved but very sweet manner of talking my dad's name is Tom as well so Tom's birthday my first and only boy, baby born at home Dr. Levin came out to deliver you into the world everyone was having their babies at home so I was not worried or concerned Mrs. Klug who lived next door did our housework for 10 days we paid her of course and it made life so much easier. It gave us so much more time to enjoy our new son. As we've already had a wonderful girl, we were hoping for a boy, and we were so pleased when you arrived. Precious memories, you were a precious baby and a precious son. I love you so much, Mom. And so, oh, and here's the letter that my grandma typed up. My aunt took a picture of that. So my dad, because he's in his 80s, he likes to tell a lot of stories, and I want to hear them. And uh, I, I had to eventually start writing them down so I didn't forget. But I'm glad that this poem came to me because it'll make it more and more vivid for me. And again, I think it's important history. The title of this poem is Small Town Hall. The town hall of Sharon is a stone's throw away from my father's heart, which makes it part of me. Around the corner and up the road was the one-room schoolhouse, which still stands as it always did, reminding Dad of the game, throw the ball over the roof. My father loved his chore fetching water from the neighborhood next door. Within that tract of my father's core, three farms entwined. One was his grandparents, one were the renters, one was the, where he grew up, where his siblings played shadow tag while he milked the cows, where he began his own family. A creek ran behind our farm. Dad once followed his sister to capture frogs. Near that creek was a group of trees, the memory my dad wants to impart on his children. is my grandpa, pheasant hunting, birds flying from the trees so numerous he could not figure out which ones to shoot. In many ways, those farms are gone. Yet what tranquility it gives my dad and me to let our minds tramp past the white barn, 
over the gnarled barbed wire fence, tangled with weeds, back and by the tr trickle of the creek to stand with my grandpa in his brown vest, red plaid hat. Like my dad, my plan is to get a lot older, yet someday I hope to stand shoulder to shoulder with my dad, my grandpa, everyone that holds home in their hearts. Thank you. All right, anybody else want to go again?